So, uh, I feel that's what she wanted me to do, uh, trip alone. I suppose it was good I did, sparing her the anxiety and letting me satanama incessantly, although I wonder if we had been together and grooving and whether it would have been a whole different experience, but I suppose I need to be strong on my own. And somehow I feel like that's what this is saying. And uh, here's the next line. That transformation through willpower triumph, even though it seems like a conflict, but I really have to gather with myself and speak out my own truth and cleanse myself and prepare for her, my true soulmate and allow the soulmates of the past to remain in the past that she is the one who has survived the blast who is truly innocent and connected to my past lives who brings me the hope the opening of the subconscious and the will to lead and to heal myself and heal others and recognize the pain and transcend it put in here uh, transcending now let's say let's ask what, what did I accomplish so far how is this trip what have I gained from this acid trip Gained from this acid trip. Universe fallible, penned up. Interesting. The universe is only fallible when you pen it up. When you open it, it's infallible. That's what I would take from it. And it's to think that there's only one verse, universe, that there's many verses. And you don't have to be worried about being fallible. You can be innocent and free and just experiment and take your time healing yourself. So, this is uh, some kind of advice about the, uh, the future tomorrow, Saturday. Well, I'm afraid, you know, she doesn't have much money and I'm hoping she'll want to come to me and we'll eat together and create together. But I feel like she needs her own space and still wants to be connected to Ken and probably will go over to him. Let's see what the fortune cookie says. Where is she likely to go tomorrow? Where is Becky at? For Saturday. Uh, overtly, analysis plead for mercy. Well, she does seem to feel guilty about being torn this way and that way, and being wanted and not knowing who to serve. Universe. I told her to look for what seems like the highest good meditate that seems like what she wants to do I feel like in some ways Ken stimulates her and in other ways I stimulate her and in some ways she wants to just be alone but she knows that I want her to want what she wants and to expand herself and be all that she can be Advice about Becky for art. Advice about Becky for art. Transgression reluctance ascribed to. 
So she's worried about feeling guilty in all sorts of ways. I think subconsciously the the whole Mary Magdalene and being transgressing the uh, church and she, you know, later wanted to love the church and cherish the church, cherish. So all these emotions are stirred up again. And the advice for me is to continue to serve her, nourish her, and help her decide that she doesn't need to suffer, but I'm here to love her. And I love loving her. And that she doesn't have to think of anything as a transgression. So let's see, how is Becky feeling from my trip? from my trip a lot personality computer helplessly uh, interesting <laughs> the computer helplessly <coughs> the computer it reminds me of the ace of discs there all the details. She sees the minutia. She's at a turning point to decide which direction to pursue with her life. It's scary, but she wants to write and create. But she's afraid and feels guilty and is allowing other things to distract her.